So in this next module, I'm just going to give a couple of concluding remarks. Thanks so much for joining me in this course. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, thanks to everybody who uh, got in touch with me to say that this uh, course has helped their writing process. I really appreciate that feedback. We'll be asking for general feedback on the course uh, in a post-course survey, so please fill that out. And thanks again for joining me. So I just want to kind of wrap up where we started in this course. So a couple of take home messages, and this is good, harkens back to the first week of the course, the kinds of things I really want you to come away with. So one, uh, effective scientific writing, the point is to convey an idea clearly and concisely. So again, even though you may be talking about complex ideas, I hope I've shown you in this course that you can talk about complex ideas without using complex language. You can use simple and easy to understand language and you can still get all of the complex ideas across. I also want to again uh, make the point that scientific writing should be easy and even enjoyable to read. That's what we're really striving for is to be able to get our message across to as wide of an audience as possible uh, and there's no reason that, that the writing has to be tedious and boring and, and a struggle. And then finally, uh, clear writing really has you know, uh, important benefits and that's why I uh, want to get this message across to, to a, a big course like this. Clear writing really improves transparency in the scientific publishing process and it speeds up scientific pro progress. So there's really a, a moral reason to use good, clear, effective writing uh, in your papers. And I, again, I hope you've learned a lot in this course that you'll take forward and you'll, you'll pass on these messages to others. And I focused mostly on um, the manuscript writing process in this course. Uh, hopefully another instructor will follow up, of course, all the good principles of clear writing that I've talked about in this course would apply to grant writing and to job applications. Uh, but hopefully another instructor will follow up with a course that goes over some, the mechanics of grant writing or job applications. Those are other topics that we could talk about uh, in the scientific writing uh, process. So I just want to end with a slide here. Um, with some references that I've compiled. I've referred to different books along the way throughout this course, so I thought I'd put them all in one place for those of you who would like some further reading um, and, some, and to just have all the references from this course in one spot. So again, I hope you enjoyed the course and hope to see you uh, in the future in some more massive online courses. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University please visit us at med.stanford.edu.